Some of you are interested in learning the signs of emotional abuse. Well, what Jake Paul is doing to Erica Costell extremely publicly is a great example of what emotional abuse looks like. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So this video, this video right here is actually a collaboration with my lovely mother, Dr. Carrie Randazzo. So um, make sure you check out the info card as well as the link below. Um, her and I did a whole video about abusive relationships, the signs to look for, um, what to do to get out of them, how to heal afterwards. So make sure you go check that video out right after this one, all right? Cool. So anyways, yeah, I just got done watching the new iNabber video and I was gonna do a different video on relationships but watching iNabber's video, I'm like, oh my God, right? Because Jake Paul and what he is doing to Erica Costell is it's emotional abuse it is and like it it makes me it makes me regret like half the videos i made during the whole shane dawson in the mind of jake paul series like i wish i would have been harder explaining how this guy is such just a not great person you know and i'm sure you can think of better words and ter worse words than what i just used but anyways watching i Never's video and discussing like what jake is doing with these like kids right here it's awful and let me talk about this real quick this is, this is also a parenting issue, right? And parents trying to get their kids famous and all this other stuff, putting their kids in these situations is just terrible. It's just awful, you know what I mean? Like, oh, my kid's gonna be internet famous and he's hanging out with Jake Paul and you know, da 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 da. I'm just like, it's, it's not cool. So there's my opinion on that. But anyways, I wanted to make this video because what Jake Paul is doing, continuing to use Erica Costell and the breakup for his videos is emotional abuse, all right? So before I made this video, after watching iNabber's video, I went over to uh, Erica Costell's channel and I was like, okay, are they doing this like back and forth or whatever? Because, you know, this is something that people like Jake Paul does with, like he did it with Logan Paul, where they bounce views off of each other um, to get, you know, boosts in the algorithm. Or you see a lot of this stuff between like Deji and KSI or whatever. So I'm like, okay, like, is this something that like Jake and Erica are doing because they're still friendly, so they're making videos about each other and just kind of getting views? And no, no, I went over to Erica Costell's channel. That girl's just trying to live her life, right? So like the fact that Jake Paul is doing this is absolutely terrible. So this right here on this screen, all right, it is like the wheel that you look at for signs of abuse, okay, in a relationship, all right? So abuse doesn't have to be physical, okay? A lot of it is usually emotional, psychological, that's what it is. So I'm only gonna focus on a few sections of this, but again, in the video I did with my mom, we cover like all of this, all right? And we go in depth, it's like a 20 minute video. But anyways, anyways, let's look at um, using emotional abuse, all right? Making her think she's crazy. So this is gaslighting. Um, I don't have any proof of this, but what this would look like is, um, there was another wheel that I saw and I said minimizing, and it was like saying that this isn't a big deal. No, I'm not really doing anything. This isn't, da, 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 you know, I'm not, I'm not doing anything to you. You're crazy, right? So that's a form of gaslighting as well as minimizing, all right? If he's doing this, I don't know like if he's, um, if he's like said this at any point in time, but I can definitely say when the whole mystery box thing was going on, he was he was gaslighting everybody over on Twitter by trying to minimize this stuff. Like, whoa, 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 I'm just promoting a brand. No, man, no. Nah. All right, so another sign of emotional abuse is playing mind games. Like playing mind games. You guys, going through a breakup, like especially like a long-term relationship, going through that breakup, like, man, like, it, it is like sever, you gotta sever ties. Some people stay friends. It's, it's different in all, in all ways. And this is a very difficult situation because they're both very, very public figures, all right? But like playing mind games, like for, for you, for you and me, like who aren't, you know, people with millions of dollars and millions of subscribers and all that, like a mind game with an ex might be like them texting you and saying, I miss you, or you know, whatever it is, purposely running into you at places that they know you hang out. That might be a form of playing mind games. But like him consistently making videos about Erica Costell, that is a mind game, all right? Humiliating her. This is pretty humiliating. 
just constantly having this guy make videos, video after video after video. And I never brought up a great point. Like Jake Paul is not getting the views that he was and he's trying to cash in on this, right? But when you go and take a look at his channel now, he's only getting around 50 to 80 million views per month. And uh, yes, that's, um, that's still quite a lot, but it's going from 2.1 million months of RuneScape membership to uh, 300,000 months of YouTube membership. So, you know, he's only earning a few million now compared to 20 million. So uh, I, I think we should all feel sorry for Jake Paul. No. No, we shouldn't. And at the at the expense of poor Erica, like that's not cool. That is a form of humiliation. And then lastly, making her feel guilty. So I'm gonna talk about using kids in a second, but like making her feel guilty, like when he has like the kids, like have this whole conversation back and forth, you know what I mean? And publicly talking about this stuff, like he's pointing out the things that she did, right? To make her feel guilty. This is a sign of emotional abuse. Oh, never mind. This one says minimizing too. So yeah, minimizing, denying, and blaming. Making light of the abuse and not taking her concerns about it seriously. Saying abuse didn't happen, shifting responsibility for abusive behavior, saying she caused it, all right? So like part of the conversation, I, and I didn't want to torture myself watching the whole video where you use those kids to like role play this thing, like like shifting the blame and doing these other things. Like I think he had like the kids say, I, from one of the iNabber clips I saw, having the kids say like, oh, it was when we were broken up. I hooked up with that other chick, da 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 da. Even though Jake Paul is notorious for hooking up with chicks while he is with somebody. You see what I'm saying? Minimizing or shifting blame, right? Oh, we were equally to blame for this. Nah. So another sign is using children. So although they didn't have kids together, check this out. Using the children to relay messages, all right? Like, is this a form of emotional abuse while he's using these kids to vocalize this whole thing, right? To talk about the breakup, to talk about what really happened and all of that. Now, the last thing I wanna touch on real quick where it says using economic abuse, um, this could be things such as preventing her from getting or keeping a job, making her ask for money, giving her an allowance, taking her money, not letting her know about or have access to family income. We saw this during the Shane Dawson documentary of Inside the Mind of Jake Paul when there was conversations about Alyssa Violet right like this was one of the issues and then when Alyssa violet made like a follow-up video after she you know um was on uh shane's channel like she talked about these things about how she didn't have access to money and she was like under a contract all right so this is a pattern with somebody like jake paul so ladies out there if you're thinking about jake, uh dating jake paul please don't i get it i get it that everybody needs to process a breakup in their own way and and you know jake paul might argue that him making this video these videos is him like processing the breakup bro you're a millionaire go get a freaking therapist and process it that way and this is a lesson for all of you we should never we should never ever 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 work on our mental health at the expense of hurting others, all right? Now, this doesn't mean like if you're living with somebody and you wanna go you know, to therapy or 12-step meetings and they don't want you to because they wanna spend time with you. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is if what we're doing is going to harm them, and we can avoid that, then you don't do it. So Jake, if Jake needs, I'm trying to give this fool the benefit of the doubt. If this dude needs to process the breakup, he needs to go see a freaking mental health professional, okay? Now, to end this video, I wanna discuss how Jake Paul is an attention-seeking man baby on social media. Now, what do I mean by this? So, some of you might not be familiar with the term vague book, all right? So. I refer to it as vague book. I, I didn't come up with this. I think me and my friends talk about this. You know, like when somebody like posts on Facebook and they're just like, oh, you know, when, when somebody treats you like this and you don't even deserve it, or oh, nobody will ever understand what you're doing. This is a, an attention seeking behavior. You're posting something vague. So everybody comes to you and says, are you okay? What's going on? What, what What's happening, right? And this is what children do to get attention, all right? So if you're watching this, 
if you watching this, the viewer watching this, if you are somebody who posts this vague ass stuff on social media, you need to cut it out, all right? Quit doing that, find people to talk to, let them know what's going on, don't keep people guessing, that's not a healthy way to work on your mental health, all right? So Jake Paul does this on Twitter constantly in front of millions of people, all right? Unfortunately, there's not like a catchy name for it like there is for vague book, but if you come up with something, let me know down in the comments below, okay? But here's some examples, and this is a form of emotionally manipulating his audience, all right? Here's a tweet where Jake simply says, ugh. Now, look at these replies. I haven't heard, you f heard from you all day and it hurts. Sigh, you're gonna be okay. It does get better. I love you, BB. I love you, stay strong. Here's another one. Last time I was in this situation, I shut my mouth, lied for people and bit the bullet, and I always regretted that. I should have told, I should have told the full truth, but now I'm in a similar position and I don't know WTF to do, all right? So like, <laughs> like, Talk about being vague to get attention. All right, so here's, here's some of the responses. You have said so much, and now you have got to say it in my opinion. Whatever happens, happens as long as you feel better. You got to worry about yourself first. If this, if this is really affecting you and you feel like letting it out is going to be the only way to move forward and get better, then go for it. And someone else says, let it out. People have taken advantage of you for too long. The next person says, it hurt you last time. Don't let it hurt you again. So yeah, this is emotionally manipulating an audience. Like, um, I just did a video about Minute Videos, who's owned by Actually Happens, and what like Jarvis Johnson was talking about. And like, when you are manipulating people to get uh, emotionally invested and using their emotional uh, energy on your bull crap, almost like when Jake Paul did the killer clown, quote unquote, prank like this is messed up this is a form of emotional manipulation and this last gem of a tweet from mr jake paul is do i a be the bigger person and keep my mouth shut about a snake or b let the 100 percent truth out and feel so much better even though that might negatively affect me in business and here are the replies would it make you feel better if it did affect your business though and then the next person says, let it out so others know what to expect from them. And then the next person says, do whatever your gut tells you. Your gut feeling's always right. So these people are sitting here giving Jake, giving this fool Jake advice. Like this dude Jake wasn't sitting in his billion dollar mansion, tweeted this thing out and then went and like jumped off his roof into a pool or something insane. And these people are emotionally invested in giving this guy advice like he's a friend. The other weird thing about this last set of replies is I just noticed they all have Jake Paul as their like, their profile picture, which I don't, I don't even know, man. But anyways, Jake Paul, scummy dude. If you have a Jake Paul in your life, get him out. Get them out. If you used to date a dude like Jake Paul, like Eric Costell did, get him out. Get him out, don't let him manipulate you, don't let him play mind games, don't let him do any of that junk, all right? That's why we use these YouTubers to give some context about some messed up stuff that people do to try to screw with your mental health, all right? But anyways, I'm a little jazzed up, I'm gonna calm down. Don't forget, go check out the video my mom and I did over a hundred, on her channel. Again, it is linked up in the info card and down in the description below. All right, but anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get access to my books for free or join our monthly group call or any of that good stuff, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.